up in the tone, and I'll call you back when I wake up. If you're the man from the station announcements department at Waterloo, I'd like to say that I hope you'll include me for future employment in that job, even though I said some rather unpleasant things about Felton. I didn't realize at the time that your family was from there, and Felton does have its uses. After all, it's very close to Heathrow. Good night. Now, we never did find out what happened to Rodway, uh, one of our early regular callers on the Clive Bull Through the Night show. And 071-973-9733 is the number. Uh, if you want to call on the topic of your choice, whatever you'd like to talk about this morning, we have more retrospectives coming up later on as well, including uh, Percy's song, done specially for, uh, for the last one of this series. Uh, we also have three questions remaining, and I'll just hold on to these for a few more minutes. If we don't get the right, right answers, I'll give them to you shortly. Woody Allen's latest film, not yet released. Uh, what is Half a Saddle? And uh, Doris and Allen's song as well, we'd like, please. Uh, if you can identify it. Sarah in Finchley, hello. Hi. Hello, Sarah. Oh, <laughs> have you got a sense of humour before I tell you what a Half Saddle is? Uh, I hope so. Well... Now that you won't be on this line on Sundays and other nights, I shall lose weight because while I'm waiting to speak to you, I get hungry and I eat in the middle of the night and oh. go to bed with indigestion. <laughs> so I shall be going to bed early. Anyway, a saddle, half saddle. Yes. Is it a loin? A loin? No, it's not a loin. Two loins? Yeah, no, no, I know what you mean. Um, because a, a saddle is a piece of meat, isn't it? A saddle but, of lamb? Yes, that's right. But half a saddle has got another meaning. Ah. Sadly. Sorry, Sarah. Thank you very much for the call. Eileen in Bayswater. Hello. Oh, hello, Clive. Hello. Hello. Um, uh, Doris, a song? Yeah, what do you think? Is it, um, Oh, What a Beautiful Morning? Oh, what... Do you know you're the second person to say oh. that? <laughs> it obviously does sound like it. Yeah. But it isn't. Oh. Sorry, Eileen. Thank you very much. 071-973-9733, your last chance to uh, reveal the answer to the rolling quiz questions. Uh, and calls on the topic of your choice as well. We have Gary in Luton now. Hello, Gary. Good morning, Clive. What's happening, man? Good morning. How's things? Oh, retrospective, Gary. How about you? Um, not too bad. Quick, Good. Quick things, Clive, basically, because yes. I appreciate you're going to be busy tonight. Mm -hmm. What does that word mean? I'm being serious. Honestly, that serious? Yes, yeah, seriously. What does it mean, please? Mate? What does seriously mean? No, ret ret retrospective. Retrospective. Mm. Uh, I don't know. I just, just picked it out of the dictionary, actually. It sounded oh. like it was the right sort of word. I suppose you wouldn't find out by the end of tonight, would you? Uh, I'll look it up. Thank you. Listen, um, I, I want to give some of your viewers a tip on maybe on how to save energy. Yes. Um, what, well, what we've got, we've got um, Economy 7 in the house but it's not the heating it's just the meter mm -hmm. and i think when my mother got it the electricity board put it in free and the advantage with that is that you can do things like um using the washing machine at night time and doing the ironing things like that because it's using a third of normal of of electricity I know, yes you know and the other thing is Things like um, having a bath, wherever possible, have the bath during the daytime because you're not using up um, the light for the bathroom. It might sound stupid, but you're saving yourself from using up the, yes. the light in well, the Well, better still have a shower, Gary. If you can afford one. <laughs> well, once you've got it, it's probably cheaper than the bath. Thank you, Gary. Ian in Chessington, hello. Good morning, Clive. Good morning. Are you ready? Uh, am I ready? Yeah. Yes? You're like, it's not a lot, but you're not like it. Right. Clive Ball is on the place to be, 11.52 and 97.3. He's leaving tonight, and what a sad sight. So Mike Carlson is taking his place on the place, uh, excuse me, taking his place on weekends. He's falling apart night. already, Ian, isn't he? But Clive will still be around on LBC. He just couldn't leave because of, yes, you and me. That's right. Hello. Brilliant. Oh, beautifully put, Ian. Thank oh, you. Thanks a lot. Thank you very much.